Good evening, everybody, from the Emirates. It is a chilly spring night here, but the atmosphere is hot. It's a massive night for Arsenal at one end. It's a night for survival for Southampton at the other. And it's live on BBC Radio Stadium. And we are underway at the Emirates. Saints playing from right to left. Long ball pumped forward early in the game by Carl Walker-Peters. And Arsenal picking up through Gabriel Martinelli. Far side, the Arsenal left. Midway inside their own half. Roaring atmosphere around the Emirates early on. The ball back with the former Bournemouth goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale, of course. Still only 24, Joe. And they've given it away. Alcaraz has a chance and gives Southampton the lead within 27 seconds here at the Emirates. A mistake at the back from Ramsdale. He apologises. And Alcaraz has his third goal. And before everyone's even sat down, Saints have the lead and have shocked the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal nil, Southampton was, Alcaraz. A, f- a mistake from Ramsdell, he's just trying to play it in the middle and Alcaraz just picks it up, to have a few touches and then puts it very neatly in the left corner. Saka has it on halfway, infield to Partey, the ball they've given away. Saints pick it up, that's a good early ball as well from Elianusi to Alcaraz, the goal scorer. He threads it through the wall, cut, 2-0! He scores his second goal against his former club for Southampton since his return to Saints. And Saints are 2-0 up inside 14 minutes at the Emirates against the leaders, Arsenal. Who on earth would have thought this? Arsenal 0, Southampton 2, Walcott comes back to haunt them again. Oh, what a good goal, Adam. That is a fantastic goal, Adam. It is unbelievable because the pressure is there. And uh, luckily, players like Lacazette used to love scoring against Saints aren't at Arsenal anymore. Gabriel Jesus only has one goal against them so far. We're trying to change that as Erdegaard feeds Saka down the right-hand side. Here's Bakayo Saka into the box, gets the byline, pulls it back, Holly 2-1, did the ball go out of play? The linesman says no, Arsenal celebrate. Martinelli has his 15th of the season. And Arsenal are back in it. It looked for a moment like Saka might have run it out of play. But what a game we've got here at the Emirates. 2-1, great volley to score the goal, but all the good work done by Bukayo Saka. Pulled it back, it's a great finish from Martinelli. It's 2-1, and Arsenal are back in it, and the game changes again. Here's Lavia again, and the teenage Belgian prodigy turns away from Erdegaard, who himself was a teenage prodigy. Now Lavia, brilliant play from the young Belgian. Here's Perro with time to cross from the left. Hangs it towards the back post. Free header there. Ramsdale goes down, makes a save, and then he saves a second time. And it lands on the net. It's a corner to Southampton. Brilliant football all round. Brilliant from Lavia. Great cross. Great save from Ramsdale. Corner Southampton. And Elian Usi made, the, made him make the first save. And I think it was Alcaraz who made the second volley. Got to go a minute or two better than they did against City when they gave away parity right on half time against Haaland and now there's a free kick to Saints is it Martinelli has upended I don't think he jumped against Bednarek he's ended up going over him and landing and he looks in a right state Jan Bednarek he's sprawled out on the pitch he doesn't look clever at all he's actually thankfully up now yeah that's a good sign which is great news everybody I'm not sure what state he's in, Joe, having a look at no, him. He doesn't I'm, look that I'm, clever to me in his face, his head. Yeah, there's obviously a conversation I'm taking off the pitch because you can see Bednarik is not happy with it. He wants to go back on, I think. He and wants to saying, go back on. And, uh, and they're saying he's coming off. The Saints doc physio is giving the substitution instructions. He wants to come on, but they're not going to let him. Inchenko facing his own goal, deep inside his own half, Gabriel has to clear it, and they give it away to Walker-Peters, this time his first touch is good into Ward-Prowse, back to Lavia, into feet, that's a lovely turn from Alcaraz, as he tripped up on the edge of the box, referee gives them nothing, and Arsenal will try and break, and now Saka has it one-on-one with Bella Kotchap, who he's dragged out, Perot's trying to get back to help him, Saka plays it inside them, it's going to be through to Gabriel Jesus, out comes Mazzuna and does brilliantly to not overcommit, and smothers the cross from Jesus behind for a corner. We're in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Saints need the whistle, they lead 2-1, they need to survive this corner from Saka. He's going to whip it in, left-footed. And he does, curls it to the near post, it's flicked on, it's dangerous! It's off the line from Southampton, still no decision from the referee. No goal line decision given, so Saints have cleared it somehow, but they're under the cosh here. What a half! It's a 
short corner to the first post, which is flicked on, and I think it's Alcaraz that saves it on the inside of the post there and it heads was. it out. Brilliant, from Alcaraz. brilliant defending. How much metal has this Saints team got against the barrage that's going to come? Arsenal still trying to get through. It falls nicely for them to Saka. Low ball into the six-yard area, and Bazunu drops on it ahead of Gabriel Jesus getting there. And then he will take his time. No doubt Simon Hooper will be reminded of that by Arsenal. As Lianco with his peroxide hair calmly plays it nicely down the right wing. Finds Walker Peters who keeps it in. Walcott just ahead of him. Walcott just lost control. It, Walker Peters didn't play the best ball to him, but he should have done better. But then Ward Prowse wins it back. And then Walker Peters gets in ahead of Partey. Tries to cross. Deflects off Sinchenko. How about this? Corner Southampton. 20 minutes into the second half, and if we're going to carry on with the shocks, why don't we have something shocking like a, a Lianco header? First goal for the club. Uh, outswinger from Ward Prowse on the right, it's flicked on by Bella Kotcha, yes, who's got the header in the back post, and it's Dia Chaletasa! Southampton are 3-1 up at the leaders, Arsenal. At the Emirates, they haven't won here for 36 years in league football, but they have a two-goal cushion against the champions elect and our Arsenal blowing it in front of their own fans we're into the last quarter of the game it is Arsenal 1 Southampton 3 Arsenal coming again Drew Martinez a great ball drifted to the back post and it's onside a bad miss from Gabriel Jesus who's followed it over the bar and that might just sum up the night for Arsenal so far it's a lovely little ball floated oh. into him from Gabriel Martinelli, he's made a great run, he's absolutely onside, and he's completely spooned it. And now Arsenal have it, and a long-distance shot comes in, and they're back in the game, and Erdegaard has curled it in from 20-odd yards, and now we're going to see Saints nerve-tested with the time left and the stoppage time. Those fans who left early might want to turn round. It's Arsenal 2, Southampton 3, and Martin Erdegaard has scored for the Gunners. His 12th goal of the season. We're waiting for the fourth official, Andre Mariner, to give us the minutes. It's going to be quite a few, I think, unfortunately. That ball in to feet. Shot comes in, safe from Brazunu. Follow up. It's 3 3. And Arsenal go mad. The fans go mad. Saints have blown the two goal lead. Saka's followed up and scored. And we've got eight minutes of stoppage time. And now Arsenal will be thinking of winning it. Two goals in two minutes. Have ripped the heart out of Southampton's night, and Arsenal, their fight for the Premier League title is alive again. And Saints have thrown away a two-goal lead in the last five minutes of normal time. It's 3-3 at the Emirates. It's drama at the end. It's all Arsenal. Brilliant feet from Odegaard. Gabriel again, midway inside the Saints half. Central East Partey looking for options. Back out to Reese Nelson on the left wing. Nelson. Faced by Walker Peters and Diallo comes in field. Sulemana back there as well. Trossard will fancy it. Trossard dummies the pass, gets the edge of the D, hits the crossbar, and over. It's a goal kick, and Trossard nearly got the winner. Oh my goodness me! Oh, uh, and the Erdogan has suddenly found some energy. He's been driving into the middle, dribbling past players. Parted and shivers away. Played in field towards Trossard again, chips it forward in towards the penalty area, header down, might come for Arsenal, they want a penalty, Saints haven't cleared it, shot comes back towards the edge of the box, deflected and wide. Reese Nelson with the shot, but Saints never cleared their lines and they had chances to do it. That was close and it's chaos in the middle, Adam. Uh, it's like we don't know what's going to happen and we look like winning it in 88 minutes, now we look like losing it. Holding, curls it out to the right wing. Ben White has to put this in, surely. He doesn't, they go short. The captain will try and do it again instead. Infield to Partey. Gets it back 30 yards out. Now to the left to Trossard. Curls it to the back post. Misses by some Saints heads. It's curled back into the box. Six yards out. Player goes down. Arsenal want a penalty. Simon Hooper's not interested. Saints clear their lines. Why isn't he blowing the whistle? 3-3. Three, three. And the referee... Let's Arsenal play on. Tackle by Onoachu is good. Saints have it. Onoachu needs to hold this up and he's lost it straight away. Oh, and then it might fall for Elianusi who's racing to it. He'll be beaten by Gabriel. He can hardly stand up. And the referee says, that is that. What a remarkable game of football. 
at the Emirates Stadium. I'm not sure anybody saw that coming.